third day, uh, we ended our ride in the park to the north of this building. And I think it's really appropriate that we've come around to the front this year because we are long past due for the Ontario government to finally start making some investments, financial investments, putting dollars into both pedestrian and cycling infrastructure in this province. Next door to us, the Quebec government has been, has been investing in cycling infrastructure for almost three decades. And this year, it's going to earn over $135 million in revenue from bicycling tourism. Ontario, we need to catch up. Um, we in the Green Party are calling for, the, because the provincial government invests nothing in cycling infrastructure, nothing in pedestrian infrastructure, we're calling for 1% of the transportation budget in this province to be dedicated to each. And what that would do is create two funds, each about 100 to 200 million dollars that municipalities could draw upon for projects. So it's not all coming out of, it's not, so the load is not all being carried uh, by municipalities. Um, what politicians behind us in this building do spend a long time talking about is health care. And yet 79, most of us know that 79% of, of uh, deaths in this province are caused by chronic illness, precisely the kind of illnesses that can be uh, addressed and managed and, and prevented through, uh, uh, through lifestyle changes and, and illness prevention. And yet Ontario, we're dead last of all 10 provinces in investing in illness prevention. And I submit to you, there can't be a better way to start dealing, bringing down health care costs than investing in cycling and pedestrian infrastructure. I'm sorry to say that the, the last large bike ride that I participated in was, was last fall after the tragic accident uh, that, killed, that took the life of uh, cyclist Jenna Morrison. And later that day, we in the Green Party started an online petition uh, kind of a, a provincial equivalent to Olivia Chow's federal petition demanding side guards on trucks. I've got cards that I'll pass around about this. I've also got copies of Olivia's petition. I encourage all of you to sign both if you would. And every 500 signatures that we get on this petition, I personally take them. We've already taken our first 500 to the Minister of Transport, Bob Chiarelli. And so I would encourage you and, and uh, invite you to, to, uh, to help us out with this. Thank you very much.